On today's episode, we're going to cover the portfolio of a young designer. He's only been designing 10 months and we're going to see how he can improve and build his UX and UI skills. What's up and welcome to another segment of Designer Mind. On this week, we're going to review a portfolio of a really young designer. He's from Ukraine named Andre. Let's jump into it and see how we can help him. So basically, he sent me his Dribble account and Behance account. So this is the Dribble. Um, and you can see just right straight ahead that he's got some basic visual chops, which are pretty good. I mean, as a logo, um, you can see that he can lay out stuff. He can create compositions, um, UI terms. You know, he can create nice visual layouts, clean typography. That stuff looks pretty good. Um, another good layout for a logo. I mean, I think I can give feedback on how to improve those logos, but going through this really quickly, um, you can see that he's got his basic visual, um, basic visual chops in a pretty okay position, which is good. It's very good for somebody who's only been designing for 10, 10 months. This is pretty good. So on his behinds, he does have kind of a more elaborate case studies for self-initiated project. One of them is a museum app and one of them is a to do app. Um, task list management, that is. So I want to cover those um, and see in depth how they can be refined and improved. So this is a museum map. And if we go through here, museum map is a pl platform for all art lovers, serves both owners of the musician, museum galleries and exhibition, attracting more visitors. So for ordinary art lovers, find all necessary information. So basically we have here some screenshots. We have here some wireframes. And then we've got the, the phones, the colors, a little bit of kind of emotion to see the intricacies of how this works, which is nice. A um, little explanation, as I guess, about the features of the app. You can see the transitions here, um, here as well. Some scrolling and transitions, pretty nice. And I guess that's about it. He's also got a video here. So, and the, here you've got the screenshots. Okay, so let's talk first of all about the case study. One thing that I'm lacking here is that it says very high level kind of who is it for, um, owners of the musician gal galleries and exhibition and, and visitors. So there's a few personas here, but I don't understand what's their problems and what are we actually trying to solve with this app. So basically it's just, it's, it sounds very generic, but I don't know what the brief is actually is. What is he trying to achieve with both functionality and the actual design here? The fact is that when I'm looking at this kind of like thinking about hiring a UX or UI designer, the most of the focus is on fonts, colors, and these fancy interactions, which actually they look pretty good. And it's kind of, I think very solid work for somebody who's only 10 months into design, but for me, it's very shallow in the sense that I don't see any syncing here, right? I don't see I don't see any process. There are wireframes, but they're just grayscale version of the app. So I don't see what was the process for creating them because I don't understand the problem or the persona or what we were trying to do here. So this all kind of still remains very, very shallow. Um, so that's on basically kind of the thinking and the process. Now, I think if we would look here into the the kind of the, the screens themselves, so when they are positioned one next to each other, I can see some things that I find a little bit inconsistencies, which I would think about, hey, why here, this looks like maybe iPhone X or something where, you know, you see the swipe up, but here on the buy ticket, you don't see this. And so the icons look like they're just dropping. Those are on top and here they're on the bottom. So this inconsistency, I'm thinking about why is this? Now here you have kind of a back together with a search functionality, but then here, which I guess is the home, you just have the search functionality and this whole bar is kind of like empty. So you don't really know where you are. Also, I think that if you would check out 
the Apple guidelines, you would usually see that there's a title to the page that you're in, in every page here in the center, just to give you context of where you are. Um, so you don't know you're in the home. You don't even know if you check whatever, Facebook, Instagram, you'll see the logo here on the main, main page. So you know the context of where you are. But here we have nothing not what page am I on, not what app am I on. So this is kind of lacking. And I think if you're designing um, an app for iOS or something, you need to go over the, the basic style guides of how to design. Here we do have a setting. So again, an inconsistency. So you need to understand how the platform work and what do you need to design for it. So those are some things that I think can be improved in terms of the UI itself. Now, if we we'll go here to the task list, um, I think it's, again, visually very appealing. I personally like the colors um, and the fonts and the illustration, and it looks pretty high level. I mean, in terms of, you know, everything that's trending right now and dribble and everything, it looks good. You can't say anything about that. But again, I'm looking at this from a product designer perspective, and I'm trying to think, like, why were those design choices made? Like there are gazillion to-do apps on the market. So where does this stand in relation to them? What was done differently here to be better or just different from other to-do apps? And I would love to see that in the case study because to say main goal was to create simple and enjoyable experience in to-do list, I think that like gazillion apps had that as a goal, but you've definitely made some choices here which are different, so I would like to know why. And again, focusing on colors and fonts is less interesting to me than understanding the, the total design decisions. I mean, why did we choose illustrations here? besides the fact that it's trendy right now. Like who's the target audience of this app? Um, so all of these are questions that I don't find answer to when looking at this. Again, in here, the, the screen do look better. Here, um, Android does include the, word, the, the name of the screen that we're here. So in, in terms of UI, I think this app does look better or at least more, uh, more consistent and more in line with the iOS guidelines. But I would love to see more context to the process, more context to the thinking around the product design. So if you want to be what I call product designer, I know a lot of people stick with the term UX and UI designer, but if you want to be hired to design apps, you're basically a product designer. And I want to know how you think, how you made design decisions based on what else is in the market, based on who your persona, target audience and user is, um, and what is the process that you go through when you're making decisions regarding those things. So all of these things I think are things that can be improved and can be also shared in the case study. In terms of the UI and the visual uh, implementation of things, um, I think they're very well executed. So congrats on doing that with only 10 months of experience. But I have to say, you know, I have to um, say as a caveat, you know, there's so many templates right now. And so just getting the, the basic UI right is rather easy. That's not what I'm looking for if I want to hire a great designer. So I want to know how you think and how you work and see that using the case studies. So Andre, hope this was helpful for you. I know that you can improve it. You're on the right way. And for those of you guys who are building their portfolios right now, don't forget to share how you think, how you make decisions, and uh, show us a little bit more than the colors and fonts as those are not the most important decisions you get to make as a designer. Hope this video was useful for you. For more videos about design and business of design, make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you on the next video.